After her incredible runs on the half pipe, she became the youngest woman ever to win an Olympic snowboarding medal. Please welcome America's newest superstar gold medalist, Chloe Kim. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Incredible. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Have you taken it off yet? Oh, yeah, this thing's so heavy. I'm like, I need it off. Yeah. You are 17 years old, <laughs> and yet you're a gold medalist in the Olympics. I understand you're, you're a great student. Uh, your, your parents are from South Korea. That had to be a, an amazing moment of pride for your for your folks. Yeah, I mean, I was so stoked to be able to do that um, in the country my parents came from, and I had a lot of relatives watching, so that was really exciting. They've never seen me compete before, so. They still live in South Korea? Yeah. That's amazing. So were they there in person? Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, <laughs> you grew up in Torrance, which is in Southern California. How did you end up on the snow? Good question. <laughs> How, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you, you were very, very young when you started, right? Well, yeah, it's funny because everyone's like, oh, like, what do you do? What school do you go to? And I'm like, oh, I'm a professional snowboarder. And they're like, but you're from Torrance. <laughs> right. Why, you yeah. know? Um, but I think, so my dad actually tried skiing. He liked to do it, but he was like, I don't like the ski boots, too heavy, uncomfortable, whatever. So um, he swapped to snowboarding and he wanted to bring me, but my mom wouldn't come. So um, he basically <laughs> played the guilt card and was like, oh, you're such a bad mom, like not going when your daughter is going. She's doing a dangerous sport. <laughs> Um, and then it worked, you know? She came the next day and uh, we all learned how to snowboard together. But That's so incredible. Fun. Yeah. So your parents snowboard as well? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I kind of got better than at that. it than my dad pretty fast. You, didn't you That's at four years natural. old compete in something when you went out there for like the first time and do very well? Yeah, so I did my first small contest with other girls my age when I was five or six. And I ended up third with no practice. I was just winging it. I had no idea what I was doing, but I did pretty well. And my, I think my parents kind of saw the potential there. And right. they're like, you know what? Let's just give it a go. And I loved it so much. Yeah. I always wanted to go snowboarding. On your final run, oh, going this is in, incredible. and we watched this whole thing from the from the ground up, and it was so exciting. And my kids were riveted, and I kept saying, "See that?" And she's still a good student, and she picks her <laughs> towels up off the floor. You pick your towel up off the floor, don't you? Yeah, you do, of course. You do. <laughs> so you were already you had won the gold medal going into your final run. It, I mean, it was a lock, yeah. but you still decided to just one up yourself and go for it. Yeah. Um, why? Why, like, Look at what? That. Oh, you were oh, doing oh. crazy things. What's that crazy thing called? A 1080? Yeah, 1080. 1080. Um, yeah. Did you set out to go deeper on that last run, even though you didn't have to do anything? I mean, I think the Olympics is such an incredible place to be, and it's just so exciting to be there. And I was like, you know what? I want to go out full force, like, yeah. do the best I can. and. Um, I would have been so mad at myself if I didn't at least try yeah. to get that done over there, and um, I was so happy. What did you? So the, you can see in the in the footage that you pressed the button and you turned yeah. up the volume of your headphones. Do you remember what you were listening to or playing? Honestly, I have no idea what I was listening to. I think I was just cranking up the volume. Yeah. But that that whole day is such a blur because so much was happening. I'll tell like... you one thing, the Burton people must be very happy because you can see Burton, right? Did you notice? It's like giant for the whole time, spinning for yeah. a long time. That's a great ad for them. <laughs> yeah.